23 and a quarter years later, Cassandra was living on New Earth. Her brain had survived destruction on Platform 1. Her eyes had been salvaged from the bin by her servant Chip and she was repaired with extra skin taken from the back of her previous body. She hid in the basement of the hospital run by the Sisters of Plenitude, where she was tended to by Chip and watched a projected film of her younger self at the Ambassador of Thrace's drinks party to relive her past glories. When one of her metal spiders discovered Rose and the Tenth Doctor were on New Earth, Cassandra lured Rose to her hiding spot in the basement of the hospital and used a psychograph to transfer her consciousness into Rose's body, allowing her old skin and brain to perish in the process. This was in part to gain revenge on Rose and also to further her own lifespan, intending to use Rose's body to live on for centuries. She was at first dispirited upon examining the result in the mirror but consoled herself with the more sexual attributes of Rose's stolen form. Learning of the doctor's presence inside the hospital from Rose's surface memories and believing he could help her uncover the secrets behind the sisterhood's miracle cures, Cassandra opted to seduce him under the pretense of being Rose. She made a point of sexualizing Rose's appearance in the mirror and concealed a noxious perfume in her cleavage before meeting up with the doctor in Ward 26, where she exercised her new form by giving him a passionate kiss. Her impersonation of Rose was marred by her Sloan accent, a poor imitation of rhyming slang, and anachronistic technical knowledge. In the end, however, it was her lack of compassion that gave her away to the doctor when they accessed the hospital's intensive care unit and discovered human clones were being used as lab rats for the sisters' research and medical cures. Her charade exposed, Cassandra knocked the doctor unconscious with the concoction hidden down her front and sealed him in one of the containment pods. Cassandra's first instinct upon learning of the sisters' plague farm was to blackmail them. When this failed, she released the clones, who in turn, released more of them and unleashed a pandemic throughout the hospital. Cassandra and the doctor fled to the lower levels, where she abandoned Chip to die at the hands of the infected and took refuge in her basement hideaway. There, she left Rose's body and possessed the doctor instead, then climbed up a service ladder to escape the diseased patients. Unable to open a pair of lift doors at the top of the ladder with the doctor's sonic screwdriver due to him shielding his thoughts, Cassandra jumped back into Rose's body and was then forced to possess one of the clones when the doctor refused to help her. When she returned to Rose's body, she appeared to display remorse and sympathy at the fact the clones had never been touched, feeling their pain for herself. Returning to Ward 26, Cassandra helped the doctor gather a cocktail of intravenous solutions and together they cured the clones using the lift's disinfectant. In the aftermath of the averted crisis, while the doctor was trying to persuade Cassandra to leave Rose's body, Chip reappeared. Seeing him as a volunteer, which was confirmed by Chip himself, Cassandra transferred her consciousness to her servant but the stress of the would-be disaster and his near brush with death earlier, compounded with his relative weakness began to tax Chip. As Cassandra informed the doctor and the now restored Rose, he's dying. Though the doctor offered to help Cassandra survive, she decided that it was finally time for her to die rather than continuing to extend her life further. As a final request, the doctor and Rose took her to the party where she had last been told she was beautiful. In Chip's body, Cassandra told her past self she was beautiful, before dying in her past self's arms.